Yep. Smallmouth and jerk baits go together like ice cream and apple pie. Today, my good buddy Troy Linder is going to join us, and we're going after pre spawn smallmouth. We're going fishing. We're glad you're here. Welcome to the show. In this cold water like this, and we have 50, 52 degrees right now. And I'm, as soon as we get this fish in here, I'm gonna show you a trick that has worked so good for me. And it has to do with this X-Wrap. And uh, yeah, that's just fun. And I'm gonna, we just gotta take our time here on this one. He hit it weird, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Let me hit that tail, come here. We're getting a little better. They're getting a little better. Uh, but I'm going to show you a little trick here. So yeah, he's just, he just pinned himself here. He just pinned himself here. That is what's so great about those hooks are so sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you a little trick here and they'll get bigger than this, but <clears throat> Okay, first of all, one of the best things about this X-Wrap is that it is armed with those VMC hooks. But here is the trick right here. When you're fishing really cold water like this, a lot of those smallmouth will hit that white feathered treble. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but they hit it. And anything below 55 degree water, I always make sure I have that feathered treble on there. It's always worked. It's worked for me for years. And here's how I want you to think about fishing this bait. When it's this cold, you have to fish the bait slow. So I'm just popping the rod tip and letting the bait just move very slightly. Remember something, when the water is this cold, the absence of motion, the bait not doing that much will generate you strikes. What happens with that feathered tail is most of the fish when the water is cold, they will come up and just nip and you will catch them on that tail. And you saw that there, it was hooked right in the corner. He didn't grab the whole bait, he grabbed the tail. When he went sideways, when I moved the rod the other direction, the other sharp VMC caught him in the side. Cold water, X-Wrap, bright colors for smallmouth. When that water temperature is below 55 degrees, make sure you throw that feathered treble on the back. That will generate you more strikes and it will land you more fish. All right, there you go. Yeah, all right, hey, big one, but no matter the size, they're all fat. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah. they're, but they are way out here. Yeah, we're fine. Get this one back and yeah, it kind of, these, these flats, these rock flats that are yep. out a little bit further and there's a little spawning the spawning channel inside there yeah. too. Right now, we're right on the point. We're right on the point. It's about four foot right on top, and we're throwing off that. And that's where we've had just, we've had three bites in like 10 minutes right here. So all we're going to do is, um, and we've done this before together, is we just fan cast around. You start hooking up some fish, then you spot lock it for a while, and you fan cast around a little bit more. And eventually, eventually we find them. And that's yeah. just what's happening today. Yeah. We just had to work for it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. It's that's all right. Off. It's going to be worth it. Oh, is that a better one? Oh, that's a better one, dude. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Even the colder water, I'm going to swing around. Yeah, right ahead. In that colder, relatively speaking, colder water, yeah. not like super. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a, a big one, one dude. That's, that's that what we're long, looking for. That long cast. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Nice job, dude. That's a big one. Right. That's a big old big one. Yeah, this one felt a little different from those <laughs> other ones. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what Oh, we that's want. what we want. Come here. Just got full. There. A little bit colder water. There we go, buddy. Like that. That's what we like. Oh, that's a That's a tank. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Nicely done. Hey, that's the first one too that is uh Hey, we're going to get out of this mess. We'll be back <laughs> right after this. This segment of Jim Crowley Outdoors is brought to you by these and other fine sponsors. Right. 
Yeah, now that's what we come up here for. That's what, that's what we do this for. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm used to when you and I are fishing together. We always mm -hmm. come across something. So yeah. I think I think uh, we've put our time in. Now we're gonna catch some more. Yeah, we finally kind of got dialed in a little bit on, a little bit further. We're, you see, we're further away from yep. the shore. We kind of been hugging the shore a little bit. So we're going out some little bit shallow rock piles, you know, 100 yards, 200 yards offshore. They're just not ready to move up yet. Yeah, that, that fish was cold. Still, they're still waking up. Yeah, well, we're going to wake them up some more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Hey, oh, it's a tag walleye. Look at that. Man, did he rack that thing, dude. Get in here. Nice. There's a nice ball. And he's tagged. Yeah. He's tagged. Check that out. Did he rack that thing? Oh, man, did he hit that thing hard. Get him out of here. Tag. Yeah, a double tag. I've never had that before. Is that cool? I love it. And it, it is, it's his high hump. We haven't been here five minutes. Troy had that nice walleye, or a nice smallmouth and nice walleye right there. And that one's double tagged. How cool is that? That is just neat. Love it. Put that fish back. Oh! <laughs> well, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, yeah it was. Forget, that might be a school of fish that... That's like three. Three bites right like that. Awesome. Yeah. Good. So there might be like a couple of them like fighting for it. For it, sure. I got one. Yeah. Spot locker right here. Yeah. Yeah, I got a good one. Yeah, good. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's a, oh, there's a whole school. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, look at them all down there. 20 of them. Yeah. I'm going to get the net. Yeah, I'm fighting this one. Yeah. Way to go, dude. Oh, that's awesome. They were... That is so cool. Yeah. This is a good one, too. Yeah. You take care of yours. I was going to say, it came back. Those are different. Sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes that happens where it's not like, oh. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tank. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Look at that one, dude. Well done. That's it. That's a tank. Get him. Yeah. Good job, man. I got a smaller one, so you have fun with that one. <laughs> And that's the nice thing. Oh, is that cool? But yeah, oh, just what a double. Yeah. Nice. And they're eating it better too. Yeah. Beautiful fish, man. Yeah. Hey, we've got <laughs> we've got a little bit of a mess going on right here. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> this segment of Jim Crowley Outdoors is brought to you by these and other fine sponsors. That's, a, that's what happens when you get double headers. It's I think good. my foot's tangled back here still. Yeah. Oh, crazy. That's, that's that toad smallmouth. This is an um, absolute oh. monster. We waited. It was a little over five and a quarter. What yeah. a beautiful fish. Let's get this thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at When you can palm it like that and you can yeah. see your hand, that's a big one. There you look go. at that. See you, sweetie. Yep. Ah, oh, awesome, wow. man. Awesome. Wow. Another good one. Oh, got him. Yep. Double. 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 This is where spot lock comes into play. Oh, no, I think I snagged it. I oh. snagged the bottom. I got it. I got a tank here, dude. I got a tank. Oh, man. Look at that thing back there. Just jump. This is a tank. Yeah, I can see oh. it back. I'm going to have to cut. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll switch with you. Yeah. I'm going to jump over here. I'm going to get cast out here yeah. a little bit. Yeah. This is a tank, dude. There, there, there is no better jerkbait for smallmouth than X-Wrap. I, I mean, there's some good ones, but when it comes to cold water... Oh, yeah. Another nice one. Oh, man. Okay. It's all right. Here, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you all knew, if you all knew the, the fiasco oh. we're going through back here... Oh, my gosh, yeah. Yeah, that's that a good one there. Jeez, holy That's cow. That's a big one. Holy cow. Oh, yeah! Oh, dude, that's a tank! That's a best. Oh, my God, it's a tank. Look at that thing. Look at that. That 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 feathered tail. Troy, I know I know you feel the same way about it. Yeah. It just does something. Yeah, it does. Look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Holy cow. We're going to let this... Whew. 
Ah, oh, so fun. Is that that yeah. big one you saw? I don't know. It's, it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a big one, no, but it's one. Are you going to need my netting services? Oh, wait, maybe. This one is really lively. Oh, it's a, that's a nice fish. Yeah. Did you drop down to that net? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. We had so oh, many. Got, oh, he's got oh, two or three. Do you have a spot lock? Oh, it's on spot lock. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's a... Yeah. Just I keep can get it there. this one. If okay. Throw a hair jig. Yeah. I'll throw a hair jig back there. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, there's there's another big one, and it's got there's other ones that are swimming around with it. I'll throw that hair jig back there yeah. and see. Yeah, this one. See Beautiful, one. dude. <laughs> Good job. Right there. They're not super. Man, they're cold water. I can. You got them? Yep. Nice job. Yeah. And that cold water. Yeah. Gosh, that's another big toad. <laughs> My God. Wow. If you can tell, we're not having any fun yeah. whatsoever. Beautiful, man. Oh. Jeez. These are all these pre spawn fish that are just toads you hit this at the right time and yeah and it's something we came in here and as yeah. soon as he hooked the first one all we've been doing this is when spot lock really comes in handy what we've been doing is just drifting back a little bit spot locking yeah. as soon as we contact one do the same thing and you can stay off those fish yeah no, no. there you go go bigger you know both you and i have said before and i think it's important for everybody to know that it's really important to stay off these fish and you and i are both using equipment that's why spinning rods can be so important in the stuff that we're doing right here although bay casters will work there's no doubt spinning rods will allow us to make farther casts and it's especially when these fish are this big and just coming up i know you feel the same way it's important to stay and make far casts as you can isn't it yeah yes they get a little bit they get a little bit spooky in the sh <laughs> and the shed you know we're only we're fishing three to four feet yeah. in some of these areas and those fish fish you know they, they can get really skittish especially with the boat you know and, and both of us casting out there so again you know trying to keep your bait as far away from the yep. boat as possible spot locking and then casting back usually we have the wind to our back a little bit here which we can make even a little bit further cast and that's what you know the fish you see we're setting the hooked fish are way out there yeah they're not they're not near the boat and you know what that's going to be a great lead and we're going to take i'm going to take a look as we always do and show you the equipment that we're using today so hopefully you already have something like it or you can match it because this is one of the most important parts of the game is being able to stay off those fish i'm going to show you the equipment that you can do it as always, I want to tell you the equipment we were using today. Now, Troy and I were basically using the same things to throw these jerk baits. But my setup, we're going to start with the rod as always, and that was an American tackle a blank that a Bushido blank that I built it on. Of course, I'm using a microwave guide system. I cannot tell you enough how important it is when you're faced with extremely clear waters in these weary smallmouth and this cold water to make long casts. That microwave guide system is awesome for that. The blank that I chose, as I said, was an American tackle Bushido blank. Blank. It's at MB68 10 to 17. I use this blank for spinner baits. I use it for top waters, but it's an absolutely incredible jerk bait rod for me. I have the compressed carbon reel seat. That is the arrow seat on here. It's extremely comfortable to my hand, and I can throw a jerk bait all day long. The reel, this reel, I first saw last year at ICAST, and that's exactly what I walked into the Cast King booth for. This is their Speed Demon Elite. It's a 7 4 to 1 gear ratio. It's got almost 18 pounds of drag pressure. This is one strong reel. It also has 11 ball bearings in this, and it's incredibly smooth. With this high gear ratio on this reel, I can throw those jerk baits and work them extremely easy and take up line quickly. A lot of the bites, as you're seeing, were hitting that jerk bait just on the tail. So all you felt is just wait. I needed to pick up line really quickly and set the hook. This is by far at this point in my life, the absolute best spinning reel I've ever used for a jerk bait. It does everything that I want it to do, and it makes throwing a bait like that all day a lot, lot easier. This was the effective setup, and to complete it, I use suffix as I always do, 10 pound test, 832, tied to an eight pound suffix leader, and that was with an Alberto knot. 
And as you heard me say plenty of times before, when it's cold water and it's smallmouth, the first bait that I have tied on and the one that always produces consistent results is a X-Wrap size 10 hot pink. An interesting transition happened while we were out here today. Now, when we started, no doubt, the water was colder at about 51, 52 degrees. That pink X-Wrap, those smallies were all over it. And as you saw, and as I said repeatedly, the interesting thing is how they grabbed that white tail. I have no explanation for that. Again, after all these years, I don't care. I just know that works really well in cold water. Now, as the water temperature started to rise, Troy started getting bigger fish to commit to that X-Wrap size 10, but that was in river perch. Now we both started catching fish, but it was really interesting to see how they went more for that one as the water temperature warmed up. I still caught plenty of fish on the X-Wrap size 10 in that hot pink, but just a note for you, those are two incredible colors when you come north and anytime you're faced with pre-spawn smallmouth in really cold water. Him and I have done this more than, uh, more than a couple times together over the years, and this always seems to be a great one-two punch. If you haven't tried those colors in that size X wrap, I highly recommend you do because as you'll see, it really paid off. Oh, nice one, dude. That's a big one. That's a big one. I'll get the net. Oh yeah, there you go. Yep, that's another chopper. You're gonna be you're gonna be busy for a second, so yeah. you're in spot lock, so okay. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the bigger. That's what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the. There. Gotcha. There. No. Big one. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what, down the. What a tank. Yeah. What a tank. Oh. That's cool. Look at that head first, yeah. dude. That is head cool. first. All right, another. Back. The retrieve is always what makes you successful or unsuccessful with a jerk bait. Now in cold water like this, we were jerking this bait really slow, but it's not what you always hear, jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause. That's not what it was. And I want to show you the retrieve that has been the most successful for both Troy and myself when the water gets this cold. After the bait hits the water, what I'm going to do is crank down real fast and get that bait down there. Then watch my rod tip. Pop it. Pause it, pop, pop, pause it, pop, and pause it. And repeat that. Notice how slow I'm doing that. I'm not getting in a rush. Most of the strikes, when they occurred, all I felt was that fish coming up and basically closing in on that tail. I could literally feel that with the setup that I have. I just felt the bait stop, and that's when I set back. As the day went on, the more aggressive, that as, as the water temperature warmed up and more aggressive the fish got, <laughs> we didn't have to guess, we knew. I saw, uh, the, yeah, I saw the belly and that thing <laughs> flashed like way yeah. out there. I had two pumps on this X-Wrap and she just hammered it. She just you hammered it. Pink? Yeah. You yeah. Put that pink? Yeah, like it's just old, old faithful. We were talking yeah. about that. You know, you just you have your certain colors that you know are going to work for you, mm -hmm. and that's this is one of them. Nice. Oh yeah. And it's colder water. It's the nice thing they don't jump, so they just kind of, they kind of yep. get up near the surface a little. Yep. Bit. There we go. Go handle. Yep. Oh boy, come here. Oh, come here. Come here. Yes. Man, this is just, this never gets old, dude. Yeah, no. I love doing it. We have so much fun every year when we get together. We figure something out. There you go. Oh. Come here. There she comes. Just a big fat one there. Good. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a fun day. Look at that thing, man. Look at this horse. Oh. Troy, get back up here, buddy. Look at look at that thing. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Just awesome. Man, I'm telling them, put that, here she goes. Every time we get together, we have so much fun. You know what? God bless us. I, I love this guy. We look forward to coming fishing with him every year because he's just, just good people. Yeah, we, we plan these like way far in it. Like one day, we plan almost half a year in advance. And then when we hit the weather, 
you know, it's like a dice roll, but we put it together. Make sure you check out all of Troy's stuff. You have Angling Buzz, Linder's Angling Edge. You can find them on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Did I miss anything? No, that's everything. Well, I did okay Let's there? Some more fish I, we're we're going to go, we're going to let you guys go. I'll tell you what, God bless us with a wonderful, wonderful day today. Mm -hmm. I hope he does exactly the same for you on your next trip. Until next time, for Troy Linder, I'm Jim Crowley. God bless you. We'll see you soon.